So I thought, if, if is there a place in the world where role play is the the order of the day, and where you cannot go around filming as you choose, and uh, you know, I, I quickly uh, realized that 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 would have to be a dictatorship, which led me to North Korea, and. Um, so we, I did a project called um, The Red Chapel, where I went to North Korea with two Danish-Korean comedians, one of whom is a self-proclaimed uh, spastic to showcase Danish, Danish comedy. And it evolved into something very uh, quite horrific and, and, and disturbing. And afterwards, it was aired in Denmark uh, again as a, I think this time, a three-part segment broadcasted in the month of December on Fridays. If the only people watching television on Fridays in December are people who are not invited to Christmas lunches, where, which, where most Danes go uh, to get very drunk. So the ones who are at home are really, you know, ag aggressive and boring people. Uh, and they were very angry about this, uh, this series, and Danish broadcasting had a lot of complaints about it, so it was considered a complete failure. But luckily, my... Uh, producer, uh, who, who, whom I was working with back then, he, he left Danish Broadcasting to uh, Centropa, uh, Lars von Trier's production company, and we discussed doing a, a feature-length version of uh, this North Korean project, The Red Chapel, and, um, and soon after it, uh, it, it premiered at Nordic Panorama, and then at Sundance, and then m my film career began.